Toyota's all-new $20,000 truck destroys Ford Maverick. No, your vision's not deceiving you. You read correctly that the Toyota RAV4 pickup vehicle wants to enact revenge on the Ford Maverick. Toyota's reputation for quality, dependability, and durability was solidified by compact trucks. However, Toyota has been absent from the market for a considerable amount of time. The Tacoma, a second-generation version of the iconic Toyota pickup, was introduced in 2005. Toyota executives, however, have not ruled out developing a vehicle to replace the Ford Maverick and sit underneath the Tacoma. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Toyota's newest $20,000 truck that will destroy the Ford Maverick. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. The teeny pickup truck market in the U.S. has been revitalized by the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. With the launch of these two vehicles last year, the segment, which had been abandoned in the previous decade due to the growth in truck sizes, came back to life, rekindling America's desire for smaller trucks. In spite of this, Toyota is one automaker who is considering returning to the lucrative compact pickup truck market in the U.S. There are rumors, according to Torque News, that the Toyota RAV4 vehicle will be released to take on the Ford Maverick. According to Jack Hollis, Senior Vice President of Automotive Operations at Toyota Motor North America, there is space in the Toyota lineup below the currently mid-sized Tacoma. The question is how to fill it. According to Automotive News, Hollis noted that Toyota continues to look at the teeny truck market and we've continued to look at it for a long time. Toyota is apparently working quickly to get a new Challenger to market as a result of the Ford Maverick's unexpected swift rise in popularity. Almost 80% of Maverick purchasers are investing in their first truck. Ford has a strong brand loyalty percentage, so it might retain those customers for years. The majority of the new buyers are switching from the Toyota RAV4 and Honda CRV. The Maverick has achieved enormous success. Ford's current production capacity is their only limitation. Prior to Ford closing its books, pre-orders for the 2023 model were completely sold out. Furthermore, the Maverick is a problem for Toyota, in particular because it's a potential competitor, luring buyers away from Toyota. Customers for the Maverick make up about 60% of the market outside of Ford. The Toyota RAV4 is the second most popular car traded in for a Maverick. For a small vehicle intended for urban use, Toyota executives stated that it would make more sense to deploy a TNGA, Toyota New Global Architecture Unibody Platform. Also mentioned was the likelihood that Toyota will want more of an SUV with a bed configuration. The TNGK platform, which also supports the RAV4 and Camry among other vehicles, is the most likely candidate. There have been rumors that Toyota will give the new vehicle an old pickup name. Stout is a well-known choice, not to be confused with Volkswagen's Scout line. Notably, Toyota applied to have the name registered for use in Argentina. Nevertheless, registering a name as a trademark does not ensure its use. Additionally, Toyota has the option of choosing a different name for the American market. It will be a matter of waiting a little longer to see if Toyota will make the first presentation for the vehicle next year and if it will carry the classic name that the company has. Stout, writes automotive journalist Fernando Berdini in Kuya Motor. It might utilize the same suspension system and platform. Toyota wouldn't have to create an entirely new vehicle, which would save time. Moreover, converting SUVs into trucks appears to be effective. The Hyundai Santa Cruz and Hyundai Tucson are very similar, and the Ford Maverick is just a Ford Escape with a bed. Whoa, this pickup truck is starting to sound really awesome already, and we haven't even gotten into details about it yet. What do you think about Toyota's newest pickup that is battling the Ford Maverick in the market? Will this really be just as good as the other trucks? Make sure you leave your thoughts in the comments below. Now, let's get back to the video. A basic 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with 203 horsepower and 184 pounds per foot of torque powers the RAV4. The 2.5-liter inline-four engine and the two electric motors in the RAV4 hybrid combine to produce 219 horsepower and 163 pounds per foot of torque. The RAV4 Prime, on the other hand, produces 302 horsepower and 165 pounds per foot of torque with the same engine and electric motor. It might emerge as America's first teeny plug-in hybrid truck. Additionally, the Santa Cruz can tow 5,000 pounds compared to 3,500 pounds for the RAV4. 
Before we learn more about the prospective Toyota Stout or Toyota RAV4 truck, it might be a few months. However, time is running out for the 2023 launch. Toyota executives said that the new vehicle would be unveiled at the third HQ Confidential event in 2023. The past two years, that occasion has been celebrated in early June. From the first two events, it appears that Toyota will fully announce the truck or will secretly present a full-scale model of the car to journalists before a big reveal later in the year. We wonder if Toyota will unveil the new truck or the newest Tacoma first. In addition, a TRD off-road model is anticipated to rival the Ford Maverick Tremor. The new truck might debut in Australia in 2023 and arrive in America by 2024. In other nations, it would rival the Fiat Toro. However, despite being a mid-sized truck rather than a teeny vehicle, the Toyota Hilux appears to be a fantastic choice. Question is, will the upcoming Toyota compact truck utilize a hybrid powertrain akin to the Ford Maverick's base model? Well, for this new Toyota pickup, a hybrid powertrain makes total sense. Larger Toyota automobiles have begun to use hybrid powertrains exclusively. For a long time, this brand set the standard in the hybrid industry. Could the hybrid RAV4 powertrain serve as the foundation for a brand new small truck? This is only conjecture right now, but it would make a lot of sense. If Toyota required it, creating a little truck might be feasible. Toyota makes a car of that size on a flexible chassis. They have extended knowledge of hybrid powertrains. A RAV4 with a truck bed and styling that resembles the Tacoma would be a recipe that ought to work from a branding perspective. Toyota might also collaborate on one if Subaru chose that course. However, it would be reasonable to wonder why Toyota would bother. Toyota can afford to respond quickly since vehicles like the Maverick and Santa Cruz are attempting to upset the Apple cart. Additionally, given the market's turbulence and the ongoing transition to electric powertrains, exercising caution is perhaps the best course of action. Toyotas account for five of the top 12 selling automobiles in America in 2017. The best-selling two-row crossover and non-pickup vehicle was the RAV4. The highest-selling three-row crossover was the Highlander. The most popular small sedan in sales was the Corolla. The most popular mid-sized sedan in sales was the Camry. And by a wide margin, the Tacoma was the most popular mid-sized truck. The Santa Cruz and Maverick would have a tough time competing with Toyota's compact truck which has a standard hybrid drivetrain, which could receive a hybrid variant spun off the Tucson Hybrid. Although there is no official information or announcement to suggest that a Toyota compact truck will be unveiled in the first quarter of 2023, it's undoubtedly a possibility. You can bet that we'll be prepared to update you if Toyota releases a small truck. What do you think of the new truck Toyota is developing to combat the Maverick? Should Toyota just start manufacturing electric trucks now? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.